2012, December 12th, famously known as the Doomsday. Is the world really going to end? For the next five minutes, we are going to show you some scientific evidence claiming why the Earth won't end on 2012, December 12th. We have backed up all our claims from high reputable sources, for example NASA. You can find our sources in the YouTube description box. First, let's look at the three main claims that on the doomsday they have predicted to happen. The end of the mind calendar. Some of the websites in the internet are claiming that ancient mind calendars are going to end at 2012, December 12th. So does the human civilization and the whole earth. Now let's see what the scientists have said about these claims. The mind calendar consists of several cycles of counts of different lengths. The 260 day count and the 365 day count are the most famous ones, also known as the synchronization cycle lasting for 52 halves. The small circles are also 13 days and one of them are 20 days. Some websites in the internet have claimed that the mind calendar ends and the whole civilization of humans will end on 21st 12, 2012. The mind calendar is just as a calendar you have in your kitchen wall. Does not crease to exist after December 31. The mind calendar does not crease to exist after 21st December 2012. This day is just the end of the mind long count period. But then, just as your calendar begins again on January 1, another long count period begins for the mind calendar. Some calculations even suggest the mind calendar already finished, which is seven months ago. Well, here is the evidence. Since the mind calendar was written 45 BC, without the extra day every four years, today would be the 28th June 2013. On the other hand, the Mayan calendar does not even count the leap years, so technically the world should have ended 8 months ago. The second claim. A planet called Nimburu, also known as the planet X, sized 4 times the size of Earth, is going to collide with the Earth on the doomsday. Now let's see what really is going to happen. The truth. Firstly, it turns out there is no evidence there is even a planet called Nimburu. Firstly, it turns out there is no evidence that there is a planet called Nimburu even exists. Scientist Neil Tyson claims that they can't even find a planet which is four times the size of Earth, which is coming towards the end. So now let's see what the scientists have to say about Nimburu or the planet X. So who started the, the Nimbu So who started the Nim So who started the Nimburu rumor? Well it turns out it's a website called ejobishion.com which has no evidence at all from a really good source. So who started the Nimburu rumor? Well it turns out it's a website called Nimburu which is originated from Italy, four times as big as the Earth, is going to hit us on 21st 12, 2012. But it turns out the website doesn't have any source or let's say valid evidence at all. So who started the Nimburu rumor? Well it turns out it's an unknown website which doesn't have any resources or evidence to claim their claims. The final claim. The final claim is a gigantic solar storm predicted at 2012, 12, 21st. A solar activity have regular circles with peak approximately every 11 years. Nearly these activity peaks solar flares can cause some serious interruption of satellite communication. Although engineers are learning how to build electronics, they are protected against most of the solar storms. 
But this is not the special risk associated with 2012. The next solar maximum will occur in 2012 to 2014 time frame, specifically 2013, and it predicted to be average solar cycle, no different than the previous cycle throughout history. To find out more evidence, for example the polar shift, go to the website in the description box.